Well, boys, now that we're done with the Black Ops 4 Ether story, it's finally time for us to play some good old B01. I mean, as much as I do love my Perkaholics, after having to empty that Mexican hermit's piss jars, I think I could definitely go for a round of some chemotherapy. Me too. I just finished my first playthrough of Persona 3 Reload, and damn, that game was beautiful. But now, after beating the story, I feel kind of empty inside. I can relate, Georgie. I felt the exact same way after I got all achievements in my friend Peppa Pig on the Xbox. I genuinely can't imagine what the overlap between those two games could possibly be, but that gives me a good idea. I think I'll do a new Game Plus run to get all achievements, although after that I might truly be empty. But I guess I could always do a FEMC run on Persona 3 Portable on my Steam Deck. That sounds real entertaining, George. How about instead of playing zombies tonight, we just listen to you yap for hours about what nerd games you're playing. Whatever, Donnie. Don't think I forgot about the time you were gushing over how Final Fantasy X is true Final Fantasy. Because it's turn-based and not hack and slash like FF16 was. You can only stay a closeted nerd for so long. Whoa, hold on. There's a big difference between being a fan of an absolute classic of the JRPG genre and playing a game where you romance high schoolers. That sounds like something Mr. Dementia over here would be playing. Romancing high schoolers? Nah, too old for me. All right, that's enough. I'm stopping this right now before Joe starts going off on some weird tangent about kids again. Can we just slay some zombies like normal gamers? Hey, Donnie started it. I was just talking about a game that's potentially going to be my vote for game of the year and he had to make it weird. Right, I'm the one making it weird. Not the almost 80-year-old dude fan girling over a game where you role play as a teenager. That makes total sense. If you actually played it and experienced the story, you'd see how amazing it is and how wrong you are. But of course, you are the ultimate bigot. Listen, I'm gonna make the lobby right now. And if you guys aren't in in like 30 seconds, I'm starting the game without you. Okay, okay, chill, but I'm hosting, not you. Still don't understand why you have such a hard on for being the host, but whatever. As long as it gets you all in the game. Man, it's been a hot minute since I last played OG Kino. You sure we can't play the Zombies Chronicles version? Absolutely not. Tonight we put your zombie skills to the test. No crutch game mechanics for you here. Donnie's gonna have the most downs for sure. Without his perkaholic, he's nothing but a big orange target for the undead. Well, I guess you'd know a lot about the thought process of a zombie, considering you're basically one in real life. Shut up, orange man. I may look undead, but I can assure you I've never been more alive in the e bed. After all, that is the key to a good marriage. Hell yeah, Joey. Nice to hear my VP is still getting some. It definitely has helped Michelle and I have such a happy marriage for so long. I don't think your frequent trips to Peg City are the same, Barry. Oh, got him. Really, George? Don't be supporting this kind of behavior. You wouldn't like it if I hyped Joe up for making 9-11 jokes, would you? Nah, man, I don't even care anymore. I've heard so many. At this point, I'm immune. Just too bad the towers weren't. Okay, Donnie, I'll give you that one. That was actually pretty good. See, Joe? That's how you make a good 9-11 joke. Joe, are you gaming in there? You know I told you you can't be sitting in that chair without putting on your hemorrhoid ointment first. What the, what the hell was that? Did he just leave? Great, of course, we're finally right about to play Kino and Joe dips out of nowhere. Relax, Barry, we can still play the three of us. Yo ass knows Joe would just weigh us down anyway. Donald, have you even looked at the leaderboards when we play zombies? You always have the least kills in the group. If anything, it's you weighing us down, both figuratively and literally. Well, no shit. Joe just wanders around mowing all the zombies down while George and I have been doing all the Easter egg steps. Of course, I don't have a ton of kills. Got to agree with Don there. It's pretty easy to get a lot of kills when half the lobby is running around searching for bones and orbs and other random stuff. Well, I guess you do have a point there, but either way, gonna have a hard time using that excuse on Kino. We'll see about that. So are we playing without him or what? Nah, as much as I really want to play Black Ops 1, it's not gonna be the same without all four of us. Plus, I'm sure Joe's still gonna want to play it whenever he hops back on, so we might as well just wait. Well, in that case, I couldn't think of a better time for us to start a Baldur's Gate 3 run. Might even be better without Joe. He'd probably take six hours trying to figure out how to build his character. Right, like your nerdy ass wouldn't take just as long. Remember how long it took you to make your character in Starfield? Oh, please don't mention that game. So much regret. But no, maybe another night. Not really in the RPG mood right now. I was all hyped up to mow down hordes of zombies, but Joe's stupid hemorrhoids had to screw it up. Well, actually, now that you mention mowing down hordes of enemies, it may not have zombies, but maybe we should check out that new game, Helldivers 2. Could be fun blasting some bug aliens. Damn, Donald having a good idea? Those are rare nowadays. I'm actually down. I've been seeing tons of memes about it, and it looks pretty fun. Plus, I love Starship Troopers. I guess let's just hope Michelle doesn't check the credit card statement this month, because for once, I'm actually going to buy a game. We really are never going to play Baldur's Gate 3, are we? Oh, don't go getting your panties in a knot like that, George. Sorry we're not all ready to start a 100-hour game right now. We'll get to it eventually. We better.
All right, fellas, everyone come aboard my ship, the SES Patriot of Liberty. Pretty accurate name considering I am the ultimate patriot and I love liberty. Bro, chill. I literally just finished installing it. Give me a few minutes here, will you? Same. I'm running through the tutorial right now, so just cool your jets and be patient for once, Donnie. <laughs> cool your jets. Good one, George. Of course, you'd make it into a 9-11 reference. Even without Joe here, I can't catch a break. Great. And to top it off, I just get obliterated by these sentry guns. Bro, you got a prone and army crawl to avoid them, noob. Yeah, thanks. I got that. Wait, what the hell is this? Why is it saying I need to link a PlayStation Network account to play this game? I don't have a PlayStation. Just go on the website and make one. You don't need to own a PlayStation to have a PSN account. Bruh, fuck that. I don't want to have to sign up for more spam emails from another company just to play one game. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a skip button too, so you probably don't have to link one. Yeah, but it says, linking your Steam account to a PlayStation Network account is required for playing this game. So I'm guessing it's probably gonna screw it up if I don't. I mean, I didn't link a PlayStation account and my game's working just fine. Gee, thanks for speaking up there, Donnie. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Well, excuse me, princess. I didn't really read the menus when I launched the game. I just click next and skip on everything. Well, I just finished the tutorial, so Barack, you better speed run that shit like Bubsia doing a blindfolded Mario 64 run. Yeah, let me just bust out a BLJ through the tutorial here. Did Barack just say he was gonna bust out a BJ? That's kind of sus, bro. No, dumbass, a BLJ, you know, backwards long jump. Don't you know anything about SM64 speed running? No, cause I'm not an Omega nerd like you guys. Now, can you hurry up and finish the tutorial so we can actually play the game? I've been standing here saluting for like 10 minutes. Hey man, don't look at me, I'm ready. I'm waiting aboard the SES elected representative of patriotism. Actually, maybe I should pick a better name. That one's kind of a mouthful. Man, who cares about that? Just join my ship already. You can name yours the fucking invader of Iraq or whatever later. Hmm, maybe I won't do that. Well, I'm naming mine the Wings of Redemption for obvious reasons. The Wings of Redemption? Could you have possibly thought of something cornier than that? Look here, look, listen. The Wings of Redemption is the most goaded ship name of all time and I will not be debating it. Dang it, how did I not think of that? Okay, finally you guys are on board. Time to spread some democracy! Whoa, Donald, that's some pimp armor. How did you get that? It's from the Digital Deluxe Edition, and you know me. Moneybags Trump, I had to get it. Uh, yeah, about that, Mr. Moneybags Trump. Shouldn't you be more focused on the $83 million you're gonna have to pay E. Jean Carroll instead of buying the expensive version of Helldivers? On the contrary, my fellow president, I'm about to hit it big with my limited edition gold Trump shoes. Soon everyone will be wearing them, and if you aren't, then it'll just scream how much of a loser you are. Yeah, right. Ain't nobody buying gold Trump shoes, lil' bro. You'd get hit with the what are those faster than you would going out in public in Crocs. Whatever, but between that and selling totally real authentic pieces of the suit I wore in my mugshot, I'm pretty sure drumming up 83 mil will be a cinch. That's excellent, Donald. Way to be an entrepreneur. Hold on, what's this, Stratagem Hero? It's a little mini game where you can practice calling in the stratagems like guns or orbital missiles and stuff. It's good practice. But that's not what's important right now. We need to get deployed and start liberating. Right, probably should start playing the actual game now. All right, soldiers, this is it. We need to select a planet to land on so we can start liberating it of the scourge that is the Terminids. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, settle down, W. Don't be starting with that LARPing shit already. Dude, don't be a buzzkill, Barack. That's the best part. Usually I don't like LARPing. But this is liberty, democracy, and freedom we're talking about here. So I say, glory to Super Earth. Of course you'd want to LARP as a soldier of a fictional fascist group. You do realize Super Earth and the Hell Divers are technically the bad guys going around slaying all the aliens? Barack, you're saying some treasonous stuff here. I'd choose my next words carefully. Don't make me send you out the airlock before we even play our first mission. I'm just saying you gotta at least realize the satire in it, right? Just like Starship Troopers. Barack, can you stop being a woke baby for like five minutes? It's a video game, of course it's not serious, but we're just pretending. That's what makes it fun. Man, I wish I could believe you, but this is also coming from the guy who literally thinks he won the 2020 election. Man, I wish Joe was here, he'd back me up here. Hey fellas, just noticed you three were in the Discord on Helldivers without a fourth. Y'all mind if Slick Willie fills a slot? They say I'm real good at that. Bill Clinton? Clinton? Jesus, what is that username? It's pretty good, huh? My buddy Jeff made it back when we used to play Roblox. What the fuck? Dude, there's no way we're playing with this freak. Oh, hell yeah. What's up, Bill? I totally should have invited you sooner. Joe's out of commission right now. Something to do with his hemorrhoid ointment. Oof, been there. Not fun, but Hillary was a doll and always applied it for me, so it wasn't so bad. Bill, I'm gonna tolerate your presence here in the call right now, only because A, you're most likely 100 times better than Joe at any given video game. 
And B, Barack clearly needs another Democrat in the call with him, or else he starts going full wokey mode. I'll take it. I mean, after my outburst at the White House on Christmas, I wasn't sure if you guys would want a game with me again. Don't sweat it, Bill. That was practically nothing compared to the raging Donnie usually does. No, that's Cap. I've never raged even once in this Discord. Fake news at its finest here. Yeah, totally. Now let's get this show on the road. It's time to liberate these planets harder than I liberated Afghanistan. All right, gentlemen, we're in orbit above the planet Meridia. Let's get down there and start spreading democracy. These aliens ain't gonna know what hit them. I wonder if maybe there'll be any sexy aliens on this planet. Maybe we can rescue a few. This isn't Mass Effect, Bill. These aliens are vicious killers, and it's up to us to wipe them out. Now everyone climb in your hell pods. We're dropping in. Orbital precision strike? Oh, shit, this might actually be kind of epic. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Barack. It's time for you to go full on Obama mode in the name of freedom. Well, you've got me interested now. Let's kick some alien ass. Hell yeah. Now ready up, Bill. Oh, my bad, guys. All right, Helldivers. Our mission is to eliminate the brood commander. I'm guessing there's going to be like a big super alien somewhere, and we need to take it down. Reloading discards any remaining ammunition? Oh, shit. It's not like zombies. I can't just reload every couple shots. That's right. Can't be having reload-itis in this game. Wait, doesn't this game have friendly fire, too? Huh, I don't know. Let's find the out. Fuck? Bro, Bill, what the hell? <laughs> you said let's find out, so I found out. That's why I shot George. You didn't have to kill me, too. Yeah, thanks for that, Donnie. Don't worry, guys. I'm calling in your reinforcements. And it looks like we only get 20, so that little experiment wasted us two lives. Actually, make that three lives. Okay, I might have had that coming. Look alive, boys. We've got tangos right in front of us. Eat lead, you bug freaks. Man, I can barely see anything. It's dark as hell on this planet, and it's raining. Barack, this is war. Of course the conditions aren't going to be perfect, but regardless, we must push forward to exterminate the brood commander. Yeah, just like Nikki Haley's campaign got exterminated after winning the swamp that is DC. Not really surprised considering she is an ogre, but I will admit I was kind of pissed when she won Vermont. Old Nimarata kind of snagged that one from you, didn't she? Yeah, just like she snagged her husband's last name and started going by her middle name to hide her Indian heritage. Hold that thought, Donald. Why does it say Obunga timed out in the bottom right? Barack, are you here? Hello, can you guys still hear me? My stupid game just crashed. Gee, since when did you switch to an Alienware, Barry? Don't even start with that, Donnie. If anything, it's the game's fault. You know my PC isn't some dinky hunk of junk like Joe's. So what, are we gonna have to go back to the lobby and restart the mission to get Barry back in? No, you guys should be fine there. I just clicked join on Donnie, so it should just put me right back in the game. Yep, here he comes. Our missing freedom-loving patriot is back. Let's take these bugs to pound town in the name of democracy. What? Uh, nothing, let's just focus on the mission. No, no, I heard what you said. You wanna take these bugs to pound town? That's gross. Look at them, Literally. that's disgusting, bro. Hey, I mean, I'll try anything once. Kind of what got me in trouble in the first place. You're a sick man, Bill. That may be true, but I also just found some sort of bunker over here. There's some common samples and a door with two buttons on it. Down here? Nice, I'm just gonna dolphin dive in here. Ouch! Whoa! Oh, damn. Okay, don't dolphin dive too far or else you'll bust your ass. Yeah, could have used PhD flopper just there. Now let's see what's inside this thing. Dang, poor bastard died on this planet, and all that's left of him is his bloodstained library card. Guy might have been nerdier than George. Very funny. Okay, what do we got here? Super credits, requisition slips, and a medal. What the hell is this? No guns? There was some ammo, but no weapons. Now let's find this brood commander and put down the son of a bitch. We're in the radius, and there's a red zone to our west. That's probably where the commander is. Yep, looks like your intel was solid, Private Obama. This is definitely the place. Keep your eyes peeled, soldiers. Oh, brood commander, come out, come out, wherever you are. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ah! Okay, don't step on those yellow spiky things. They damage you and slow you down. Oh shit, I found a big one. It might be the commander. Everyone give me a hand here. Oh wow, looks like you barely even needed the help. That thing was a total pushover. That alien was almost as big of a pushover as Sleepy Joe. Now let's get to the extraction point and get out of here. Well, that was quick. I didn't even get the chance to call in my orbital strike. But uh, speaking of Sleepy Joe, has he messaged any of you guys saying if he was going to hop back on or not? Hey, what's the big idea, Brother Barack? You trying to get rid of me? Chill, Bill. It's not like that. Oh, really? Then what's it like, Rob Stone? Before Joe hopped off, we were going to play Keynote or Toten, which I've been waiting to play for a long-ass time. So I was just wondering where on earth he went that's taking him forever to get back. Hemorrhoid ointment should not take this long. Well, I mean, we could still play it. I have B01 installed on my PC. Oh boy, here we go. Listen, no offense, Bill, but we were originally gonna play it with Joe. So we're gonna wait for him to get on to play it. You can understand that, right? Oh, I get it. I'm not one of the presidential zomboys. You guys in your little club. Come on, Bill, it's not even like that. Uh, I'm just pulling your leg, Barry. Everyone get ready. I'm gonna call in the extraction shuttle. Just gotta type this code in. What the? Donald! What the heck, man? It was a misinput. Yeah, right. It was a misinput.
Okay, now that one was on purpose for sure. Ah, why did my guy just launch forward? Well, while you two morons were griefing, I just called in the extraction shuttle. ETA is two minutes. All right, let's defend this point till then. These bugs better not misunderestimate us. Finally, the extraction shuttle is here, guys. Everyone get ready to hop in. And would you look at that? We still have 17 reinforcements left. We didn't even suffer any casualties. Yeah, other than your guys silly experimenting, we aced it. Not bad for our first ever run on the game. We should definitely bump up the difficulty next mission, though. Those aliens felt like round one zombies. Yeah, 100%. Donnie basically melted that brood commander all by himself. But I guess it was the very first mission, so they don't want to instantly overwhelm you with a ton of OP aliens. It says we just unlocked a new difficulty, so that means we can bump it up to easy, I guess? That doesn't sound like it'll be much harder. Well then, let's blast through an easy mission so we can unlock the next difficulty. I'm guessing that'll probably be medium. Hey, baby girl. You probably don't see a lot of action aboard these ships, do you? Ever been with a hell diver before? Uh, Bill? George, can't you see I'm trying to spit game here? To who, this NPC? She looks like her husband would smack you in the face live on stage. Yeah, well, maybe me and her could get in a little bit of an entanglement if you catch my drift. You mean her and I? Huh? You said me and her get into an entanglement, but technically it should be her and I. What, what? Just, just ignore him, Bill. He's being a stupid grammar nerd again. Donnie, can you just start up a new mission already? Way ahead of you, Barack. It's another Brood Commander mission, so this should be a piece of cake. All right, well, we're off to a good start. This planet is a lot brighter than the last one. Yeah, and it looks like we landed right next to one of their nests, so watch out. We've got bugs on us right out the gate. Man, I haven't seen a bug nest this big since the DNC. I'm calling in my machine gun stratagem for support. That's a good idea. I'm calling mine in, too. Oh, shit, guys. I see the Brood Commander. Everyone blast it. This pistol probably isn't doing much damage, but I'm shooting it. The machine gun absolutely melted that thing. And Bill, what were those shots, bro? Your aim's almost as crooked as your wife. I told you I was using the pistol. Sorry, it doesn't have the best accuracy. And don't talk about Monica. I mean, Hillary like that. At least my wife actually likes me. Yeah, well, I'd say you're crypt keeper of a spouse like me, too. Her whole presidential campaign was based off of opposing me. Huh, well, how about we do a little wife swap, eh, Donnie? You gross, disgusting, putrid. I'm offended that you would even suggest such a thing. Oh, come on, Melania couldn't be that bad. Bill, you know that is not what I meant. How about we quit it with the petty squabbling and focus on finding the other brood commander? Fine, forget I ever suggested it. Never expected you to be more square than Barack. It took me forever to convince them that one time at Martha's Vineyard. That one time? Wait, what? I don't remember that. Oh, right, I guess you wouldn't. Not my fault. I never would have guessed you were drinking the Cosmopolitan. I assume that was Michelle's drink. Wait, what? You spiked my drink? Something like that, and let's just say later that night I found out why they call her Big Mike. No freaking way Bill went to Peg City, baby. No, no, stop talking, stop talking. Bill, please tell me you're kidding. Sorry, Barack, but what happens in Martha's Vineyard stays in Martha's Vineyard. Geez, and I thought Donnie was a deviant. Are you guys always this gullible? I was kidding. Kidding? Is that what you call what you were doing on that island? Hey, whoa, relax. I was just joking around here. Right, you don't know anything about that, do you? Just like you have no idea how your Roblox buddy ended up all f 4 life inside his prison cell? I have no idea what you're speaking of, fake news. Hey, you don't get to say fake news. Do not use my line. All right, all right, guys, we're getting way off track. I'm still not sure if Bill roofied me or not, but we need to focus on taking down this brood commander. Coming up on a big nest, this looks like the last couple. Commander is most likely here. Everyone group up on me. Hope your bugs like the taste of labor tea. Die, you undead flesh sores. I mean, you alien bug freaks. Get some, get some, get some. For Super Earth. We did it. The commander is down. Nice job, boys. Anyways, I'm like completely out of ammo in my primary. We need to call in a resupply. Way ahead of you, bro. We totally eviscerated that thing with just bullets. I haven't even had to use my orbital strike yet. Dang it, I keep forgetting to call in my orbital missile. So much for going full on Obamna mode. We are still only on easy mode, so it's not like you've really needed them yet. Now let's head to the extraction so we can bump it up to medium for the next one. Here's your chance, Barack. Call in a missile on this bug nest to wipe it out. Oops, sorry, I already threw a grenade in there. Uh-oh, I'm getting swarmed. Someone help me. What? Killed by Obunga? Barack, you didn't have to blast me. Hey, man, you walked right in front of my bullets. Not my fault you got caught in the crossfire. Plus, you kind of deserved it anyway. I was going to call in a drone strike here. Don't worry, Bill. I called in reinforcements for you. Thanks, Donnie. I found the beacon. Let's post up and hold it down. Check this out. Time to ace the initiate extraction code. Crap, hold on one sec. Damn it. Having a little trouble typing in the code with those Cheeto sausage fingers? Wrong. My fingers are perfectly shaped. See? Easy as pie. Yeah, on like the third attempt. Barack, I don't appreciate the attitude. Who's the one who basically killed two brood commanders on their own? Me! 
I am your direct superior in this mission, and you will respect my authority. Yeah, okay, Cartman, settle down. That's true. Donnie kind of does act like him. All right, Barack, you asked for this. Nice. Real nice. That's what you get for calling me Cartman. Now here, I'll bring you back. Definitely feels like a lot more bugs swarming the extraction this time. Of course, right when you say that, they basically stop spawning in. The shuttle's landing. Another successful mission, let's go. Yeah, even though Donnie domed me for calling him Cartman. Deserved. We just unlocked medium, now it's about to get real. Hell yeah. Looks like this mission is gonna be a little different. Instead of taking out brood commanders, we need to destroy their egg nests. Can't have them giving birth to any more illegal aliens. Bro is not talking about the game anymore. Actually, that gives me an idea. I wonder if Super Earth could build like a space wall. And make the Terminates pay for it. Now you're getting the idea, Georgie. Of course, Donnie's still going on about the wall. It'll never stop, I swear. Yeah, and neither will illegal immigration until I erect it. <laughs> erect. Yeah, poor choice of words there, man. Back me up here, Thesaurus George. Words have more than one meaning. What I said was perfectly valid. Not everything is always sus like that, you know. I mean, yeah, but you also literally said the word erect, so I can't really defend you too much there. Well, then what the hell is even the point of being a grammar nerd if you're not even going to use it? Dude, do I look like Grammarly or something to you? I'm not just going to spew out grammar knowledge whenever you ask? No, only when someone messes up a sentence and you get a chance to sound smart. Nobody cares, man. Me and her, her and I, whatever, it's the same shit. It's really not, but okay. First things first, before we hunt the egg nests, we need to terminate this illegal broadcast. Can't be having no terminated streaming his mixtape for free in this galaxy. Calling in my machine gun. Nice, George. I just put in the code. Gonna call in my machine gun too. Me three, definitely want this for medium difficulty. Illegal broadcast is dealt with. That terminated's podcast has been canceled. Nice, time to hunt those eggs. Oh shit, I just grenaded myself. Hold on, I'm calling in your reinforcement. Thanks, Donnie. Can't forget to pick up my anti-tank cannon. This thing is gonna go boom for sure. Found a nest. It's not one of the ones with the eggs, but we should clear it out anyway. It's our duty as hell divers. Leave it to me. Now put this in your pipe and smoke it, bugs. I don't think they like that very much, George. I think they're mad now. Just wait till they taste my anti-tank cannon. Boom. Wait, I only get one shot? That didn't go nearly as hard as I thought it would. I spot another nest across this river. Everyone group up on me. All right, now how are we gonna take out this nest? Should I call an orbital strike on it? I could hit it with this anti-tank cannon. That won't be necessary. I wanna get up close and personal, so let's storm in there and plug those bug holes with grenades. Now that's an idea I can get behind. I know you said it was unnecessary, Donald, but I'm using the anti-tank cannon. Wait, that was it? That did basically nothing. I guess I'll use a grenade instead. I told you to use grenades. It's a bug nest, not a tank. Seriously, Bill? Even Joe could follow instructions that simple. Bill Clinton deemed more incompetent than Joe? Yikes, not a good look. Don't test my gangsta bush. Old Slick Willie will slap you silly boy. This is it, the first nest. Focus fire on those orange eggs all over the rocks. Throwing a grenade down a bug spawn. Calling in my orbital strike. This should be enough to wipe them all out. Everyone stay back. Okay, I call dibs on next nest. I wanna get a chance to call in my orbital strike. Well, when you put it that way, let's hightail it over to the next nest and give them a taste of democracy. Oh yeah, finally. Time to call in the Obamna. This children's hospital, I mean bug nest, is about to go kaboom. I mean the bug nest is kind of like an alien children's hospital, so really they're the same thing. Boom! Ha ha ha, let's go! Too bad it didn't wipe them all out though. I should call up my buddy Kim. Maybe he could send some of those duds over here and we could nuke these terminid freaks right off the face of Meridia. Guys, I'm completely tapped out of ammo. I feel like I just went like five rounds with my new intern. It's fine, I got the last few eggs right here. Also, resupply cooldown is finished in like four seconds. Calling it in now. After we pick up this ammo, let's make a beeline for the extraction point. It's not gonna get any brighter out here. Good point, plus then we can jack it up to hard mode and really start game. Bro really just said that with a straight face. Said what? Nothing, nothing. Everyone ready to head over to the exfil? Well, Donnie, I gotta say, you really outdid yourself by suggesting this game. This has been a blast so far. Honestly, it's pretty fun. I mean, it's no Baldur's Gate 3, but as a space game, it sure as hell beats Starfield. It's pretty good, but honestly, I still think Elden Ring is better. Hyped for the DLC. Bill, you only like that game because that weird kid gave you a shout out at the Game Awards. You never would have played it otherwise. Wait, did we not unlock hard mode? Wasn't that mission on medium? Oh, I see. The mission is like a two part thing. So the eggs was the first part of the mission. Now we need to launch an ICBM for the second part. Barack, that sounds right up your alley. Launch an ICBM? Oh man, I am so there. Excellent, another nighttime mission with rain. Plus, it looks like we're in the middle of the jungle. Shouldn't be hard for you to navigate then, hey, Barack? What? I said, shouldn't it be easy for you to navigate the jungle? Wait, what the? 
I just got crushed by my machine gun. <laughs> oh, Donald, that was totally instant karma. Shut up, Bill. I'll show you instant karma with some lead when I spawn back in. Now someone reinforce me. No, no, don't reinforce him. Let Donnie sit in time out for a little bit. That'll teach him not to make racist jokes like that. Seriously? It was just a joke. Quit being a woke baby, Barack. Oh, crap. Well, I just died. And I guess if you reinforce me, it'll spawn Donnie in, too. All right, Donnie. Well, I guess you're off the hook this time. Just got to clear out these bugs first, then I'll call you two in. Nice one, George. W sacrificed to get me respawned. Huh? I didn't do it on purpose. I just got absolutely melted by some alien that shot green goo all over me. Barack, you're our only hope. Uh, guys, it's not looking too good. Yep, I'm dead. What happens if we all die? Do we lose the mission? I sure hope not. Then we'll probably lose the egg mission, too. Wait, guys, we're respawning. Or wait a sec, it only respawned me? Hurry, Bill. Call in our reinforcements as fast as you can. I got it, I got it. Calling in your reinforcements, you guys should be here in a sec. Nice one, Bill. As soon as we spawn in, let's get the code for this ICBM. War crimes don't count if they're against aliens. Uh, is it just me, or is it taking weirdly long for us to respawn after Bill threw that stratagem? I called it in. You guys are all spectating me. You saw it. What do you want me to do? Call it in again? Well, duh. I'd like to actually play the game and not just stay dead this entire time. Look, look, you see this? I'm calling it in again, okay? It's fine, Bill. It probably just glitched out the first time for whatever reason. It is not fine. We're we're still not respawning. What the hell are you doing, Bill? Call in the reinforcements. Are your eyes open, you big fucking orange? I just tried to call you guys in two times. The game is clearly glitching out. Bill, do you really think I was born yesterday? As if the game is gonna just start glitching out as soon as you're the only one left alive. Stop trolling and just call us in. Look, asshole, I'm calling in reinforcements right now. That's what it says right on it. Reinforcements. Well, technically it says reinforce. Can it, W? Damn it, Bill. Now the whole mission is fucked! How the hell is this my fault? Because you invited yourself to this lobby and I tolerated it because I thought it could be fun, but I should have just kicked you from the start! Fuck you, Donald. The reason the reinforcements aren't coming in is probably because all the ships crashed to the ground from having so many clones of you on them. All right, that's it. I'm not just gonna sit here and take this. I'm out this bitch. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. He actually just rage quit? Damn, I mean, I will admit, that was pretty scuffed. You weren't doing that on purpose, were you, Bill? There wasn't even anything for me to do. I was calling in the reinforcements like usual, but they were just busted for some reason. Well, I guess we're probably never playing this game again, or at least for a while. Kind of ironic, you rage quit last time we played together, and now Donnie did. Always has to be something. Hopefully Donald comes around. I know you guys prefer playing with Joe, but to be honest, I don't really have many buddies to game with. So it's always nice to get to play with you guys. Yeah, it was pretty fun, but I think I'm gonna dip for now. Maybe I'll shoot Donnie a text and see if he's already blown off some steam. Peace, guys. Bill, please, bro, you gotta tell me if that roofie story was true or not. <laughs> Good night, Barack. Bill, Bill, Bill.